Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Today I'm going to be showing you um, some of the out of print or rare DVDs that I have in my collection. Now this one was kind of hard to do because, um, you know, as you can see I have a lot of DVDs and um, a majority of them I have um, gotten um, before they went out of print. Like I found them for cheap somewhere years later or I got them when they were brand new. Now, over the past um, week or so, um, I've been um, doing some research, looking up on certain DVDs to figure out which ones are out of print, which ones are hard to find, and which one um, has the most valuable um, to them. Um, I'm not an expert at these. Um, I don't think I picked out every single out of print DVD I have in my collection. Um, I even have shown some ones that I'm in question about, but here's some of the ones that I know for a fact are out of print that you can't find anywhere else. Or if you find them on Amazon, they're you know at a very high price. But um, I was just going to show you some of the rare DVDs I have in my collection because I thought it would be kind of interesting. Um, and a lot of these movies I'm sure you can find on other editions, but here are the ones that are out of print or rare. Um, so let's begin with this stack. I'll go that quickly. Um, the first one I have here is the Beauty and the Beast Special Edition. I got this for Christmas when it was new. Um, it was a Tuesday Special Edition. This was the very first time the movie came on DVD. And um, the one thing that I don't think the other editions have, like the later editions, um, it has the Work in Progress edition. Um, like before they officially released the film The Theater, um, they showed this movie in its unfinished form at the New York Film Festival in 1991. Um, they saw storyboards, um, some stuff that was finished, as well as some, like, you know, pencil drawings and stuff like that. It was very interesting. So, um, like, I highly recommend the movie if you've never seen it before. Yeah, that's the one thing the special edition um, has. Um, and not the other editions, I think it's the work in progress thing, but it was very cool, it's very interesting, a very rare DVD. Um, the next one, I know there's another edition of this, of the Peanuts Holiday Collection. This is the older set, um, that came out in 2000. I got this shortly before it went out of print many years ago. And I don't know if, um, the newer set has, uh, has, like, I know it has the, you know, the specials on here, like, it's a great pumpkin, Jolly Brown, Jolly Brown Thanksgiving, and a Jolly Brown Christmas. But I don't know if it has the other specials that it was on there on each disc. Like, Great Pumpkin has, I don't know if you can read it, it has You're Not Elected, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving has the May Fa Flower Voyagers. And uh, the Christmas one has, it's a Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. I don't know if the newer set have these sets, but this is the old set that I have that's not in print anymore. There's a new edition if you want to pick that up, so if you like the peanuts and the specials. Now this one's one of the rarest DVDs I have is Dr. Owl and the Riddle of the Gloom Beam. Um, my mom used to buy a lot of stuff on eBay before she went to Amazon. I think she got this off eBay for a cheap price, I think, um, next to the few other DVDs I'm going to show later, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but um, this is one of the rarest DVDs I have in my collection and uh, a very, very weird movie. I said so much about this one already. Now, this is the rarest DVD of all in my collection, is Ernest Rides Again. Um, this is a Canadian DVD release. I don't know if the Dr. Owen one's a Canadian release or not, um, but this one, like, it's very rare to find for cheap. Um, it goes for a very, very high price online, and I'm lucky enough to have this. Um, my mom got this many years ago for my birthday for a cheap price, I guess. I, I, you know, she's so lucky to find this cheap, because I don't know if she could find it cheap anywhere else after this. I know this movie has been re-released on another, um, like on another Ernest set that I don't have. I don't know, but if you can be able to find the standalone DVD for cheap, like any Goodwill or something, like, well, good luck, but... This is like the rarest thing I have in my collection and I'm so honored to have that. And the fact that I didn't spend a lot of money on it is something. Now these ones I'm sure are out of print is the Mr. Bean anime series sets. I only have two of them. Um, these are the older episodes of them. This is volume one and this is volume two. Um, yeah, um, I kind of enjoyed the Mr. Bean anime series for what it is. Not as much as the live action show, but Still, I enjoy watching as long as we're on accent voices the character again. It's it's good. Now this one I am not sure if it's out or in print. Still is um Kangaroo Jack. This is of course the edition when it first came out on DVD. That one I'm not sure, but most of these movies I don't see being sold in stores that much. And this is the one I've not seen in stores in years. I don't know if there's a new edition or what, but I know this edition. Tell me if I'm wrong. It might still be out of print. I don't know. 
But um, I got this at a um, flea market a couple years ago, along with another one I'm going to show soon. Now this one I just did a review on, um, if you want to take a look at my review of Phase 12 Days of Christmas. Um, I said this is one of the rarest DVDs I have, and it goes for like a high price online on Amazon. Between, I guess, well, I don't know what I said in the video, I forgot. $45 if you get it used, $55 you get this new. This is a very rare DVD. And the next one is the Powerpuff Girls movie. Now this one is out of print, and um, very hard to find. I don't know if they're ever going to release this movie. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray, I'm not sure. And I wonder if they're ever going to release a... Um, widescreen version because I'm on the dish on the box there if you can see you can't see it says standard edition um it, which means it's in full screen I hope they will release this movie on blu-ray and widescreen because it's the only release of this movie that there is maybe there's a widescreen version I don't know but it would be from another country or so now this is the first edition of Leon stitches out of print um I got this like when it was new so that's the old release of Leon stitch as well as um the Jungle Book 2. Um, there's a bunch of Disney titles um, that are like out of print, like older editions I have, but like um, I was like looking through some of them and not sure if they're still in print, certain editions or um, or what, uh, but I found a website where I looked up certain Disney titles that are out of print and this is the one that's um, out, like this edition of the Jungle Book's out of print, uh, the Jungle Book 2 I meant to say. I don't know if there's any, uh, you know, new releases or not, like I'm basically talking about editions, not Disney movies that are, are technically back in the Disney vault, you know. And this one I know is a out of print one, um, the the, the Aristocast special edition. Um, when did this came out? It came out in 2008, so that's another um, out of print edition. As well as Armageddon, I think this one's out of print. It's a very old DVD from the widescreen collection that Touchstone used to do. I think they do them, but I know this is an old DVD. This is another one I got at the flea market along with um, Kangaroo Jack. This one, another rare DVD. I don't know how much this was um, originally when I first um, got it, um, but it's a very rare DVD of the Roasters, this TV film starring Jim Varney, Mimi Rogers, um, Chad Effort, and Hoyt Axton, you remember from Gremlins. Um, this is one of the rarest DVDs I have, and uh, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon, but I don't know if you can find it for cheap. Now this one I looked up and could not believe how high this DVD costs on the Amazon site. It costs like $44 I think. This is the Beverly Hillbillies to 1993 a movie. This is a really funny movie you guys should definitely check it out. And it goes for a high price online on Amazon for like I said above $30 which is insane. And I probably got this as a Christmas gift or a long time ago for cheap in a store but this one I know is out of print for sure. Very valuable. Make sure that those DVDs are not falling. Here, don't you dare fall on me. Another edition is out of print is the Lady and Tramp 50th, 50th Anniversary Edition. Um, another one I got when it was brand new. Like a lot of these Disney titles I have here, I got when they were new. As well as, um, I think it was the first time it came out on DVD or... I, this is not a two disc DVD, I'm, say, I'm not sure. Is I think, I don't know what kind of edition of this is of this Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp 2 Escapes Adventure, Escapes Adventure. Um, it came out in 2006, so yeah, that's another edition out of print. I don't know if the new movie is still out on DVD or is back in the vault, but that's another one I have. Now this one I'm sure is out of print, the Mulan Special Edition from um, 2004. Yeah, it's a very old edition. That one I'm sure is out of print. Another one's out of print, the Bambi Platinum Edition. Um, this is the first time the movie came out on DVD back in 2005. Again, another one I got one's brand new. Now this one, I, I read up, it wasn't even out for a very long time. The first edition of Bambi 2, this is when the movie first came out onto DVD. This is when it was brand new. And um, this one, this edition is very hard to find. Same deal with Lady and the Champ 2. I don't know if it's, you know, still... If they still sell this movie stores in a special edition, I don't maybe it's back in the vault, but I'm not 100% sure. In this one I have the older edition of uh, Matilda. This is the original cover, um, and probably one of the oldest DVDs. Um, um, it does not have like a m much of a main menu or anything of that nature. It just and in the beginning it has a promo for DVDs. I guess when DVDs are brand new, and then it plays the movie. That's another 
out of print rare DVD. You can get the special edition, I'm sure it's in print. This is the one that has no features that I have here. And this one, I'm sure it's out of print. It's an old release of, this is the Schoolhouse Rock special 30th anniversary edition. And um, in fact, if you've seen my video I did, I think earlier this year or something, talking about um, my top 10 favorite DVDs, um, I forgot to mention this one because it has a lot of great features on this and this is the one I watched a lot as a kid. And this edition I know is hard to find, so if you can find it for very cheap, then go right ahead, but I'm not sure. Another one I've not seen in stores in years. Um, this one is the Bit Dumbo Big Top Edition. Um, I got this at a book sale a year ago. This is the 2006 edition. So if you can, if you can't see, I'm trying to. Can I zoom in so you can see the date? You can't. You can't. Sorry, but this is another one that's out of print. Now this one I just found out is out of print. I can't believe it. Is the Krogan Hunter Collision Course? I got this at Kmart in 2007, and um, now I don't know how long ago this has been out of print, but wow. Um, and I don't know how much this is on Amazon, if you want to get a physical copy, but if you can find it for cheap, you can find it at a Goodwill or something, pick this one up. That movie has yet to get a Blu-ray release too. And this one I know is out of print is the Final Fantasy Free DVD. This is the... Um, Gold Collection Edition. Mainly a lot of the Gold Collection titles I think are in, out of print, I suppose. Um, I got a Goofy movie on that same kind of format, the Gold Collection, but I'm not sure if it's in print or not. And um, I don't know if there's another edition of this somewhere out there for Fun Fantasy Free currently. Now this one I know was in the stores that long is the E.T. The Extraterrestrial 2 Disc Limited Collections Edition. It has the um, two different cuts of the film. Of course, this is the 20th anniversary edition of it. This is the older edition, and here's the 20th anniversary edition that had all those controversial changes. This one is out of print. Like, this DVD's been out of print for a very long time. Now, this one I ordered from a catalog many years ago. as another out-of-print DVD. Is Rowan Atkinson Live. Um, this was the show that he did in, I don't know what year, 1992 or something, uh, with a lot of skits, um, kind of like... Kind of like in a Mr. Bean style, but if you can track this DVD down, I don't know how much it is on Amazon, but definitely check this stuff out. You can actually check out some clips of it on YouTube of a stand-up. Not really stand-up, more like a show. Like Mr. Bean style. That one's really funny. Now this one's an old um, Pinocchio release, the Platinum Edition, the Pinocchio 70th Anniversary Edition from 2009. That's another one that's um, out of print. Um, I got The Lion King as well when it first came out to DVD, the Platinum Edition as well. This, to see the two disc um, special edition. And that's... And I, Lion King 1.5, that edition I have is also out of print, but it's in a blockbuster case. I don't feel like showing it. And I got Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, the two disc special edition. That's another one that's an old release, and this version's out of print. And currently you can get the new editions. Um, in stores right now while they're still out. And the, the Lion King movie, the first one, was just recently released on 4K. Now this one I just looked up to for um, the Ernest movies. I was going to pick all the Ernest DVDs, but as I was thinking about it, like maybe the old editions are still in print. I am not sure. I, I couldn't find any confirmed answers. But this one I looked up. Um, I'm It's another one my mother got for cheap, luckily, because I went on Amazon and they're selling this Canadian release of Slam Dunk Ernest for very high, like at $40 or something, like really high for a DVD, don't you think? Um, like I said, this is the Canadian release, it's got the Canadian rating, if you can see, sorry, this looks blurry, I, I can't figure out how to fix this. But this DVD I know is rare. Ernest Rise Again is more rare, but this is another um, rare DVD. Same thing with this one, Snowboard Academy. Um, again, I don't know how much um, this costs on Amazon. But I'm pretty sure for high, this is one of the movies that nobody speaks about. And um, one of the rarest DVDs I have. This one, I'm just, I just picked, I think, um, is out of print. Another one I've not seen in stores that much in recent years, Son-in-Law. Um, this is just a regular old DVD release. I don't know if the movie's been reissued or not on anything. Now this one, I forgot to mention, um, this movie in particular, when I was talking about my... Um, 
underrated movies and overlooked movies. This is the one I forgot to talk about. Is The Ugly Dachshund. And I'm trying to remember where we got this. I can't remember. All I know is this DVD, I believe, is out of print. Is a 2004 release. So it's an old release. And I'll explain a little bit what the movie's about. Um, it's about Dean Jones and the actress who did the voice of Sierra and Lion King 2. I can never pronounce her name. Um... They have um, this dog who just had puppies who's a dachshund and then um, they get this um, Great Dane who thinks is a dachshund and it's a, it's a cute movie, not one of my favorites, but definitely a decent one to check out and something got stuck in the case. So um, yeah, that's um, kind of, I think, the out of print and rare DVDs I have. I might have more of them uh, on the shelf, but I'm not sure a lot of these DVDs I actually have not looked at yet, mainly these on the shelf I meant, so I don't know. So, if you don't have any of these um, movies, like, I would definitely check out a lot of these. But, um, these are the out-of-print rare DVDs I have that I'm so glad I didn't spend, like, a thousand dollars on them. So, anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!